Welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Gotta be in 11. Wow, I've never seen one that big. <laughs> Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Look at that. Fish are all about and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. LT Outdoors Might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting Might even do a little fortune too I'm talking LT Outdoors I hope you enjoy the show Get a load of that Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. I'm a little bit whipped. Just got got done dragging all my decoys and stuff in to the van. Welcome to another duck hunting adventure. This one's short. If I would have been shooting better today, it would have been longer. But my shooting was a little off today. It happens. We have our good and bad days. But uh, I got a bird today that's worth mounting. So I hope you guys enjoy this. The divers are coming down. The migration is on. Wow, now this was very unexpected. I just got a green winged teal on Lake Huron. Look at that, that is something. <laughs> That's a redhead. It's one of my favorite ducks right here, guys. Look at this bird. Wow. That is a gorgeous one. All right, everybody, welcome to LT Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna to show you how my, I make my favorite recipe of duck breast, and that is the bacon wrapped jalapeno and cream cheese stuffed um, duck breast, which is really good. Uh, I'm back out here in my messy old garden, um, but one thing I showed you the other day about the potatoes out here. Um, also, another thing I've got left out here is peppers. Deer don't like peppers, so they left me with all these peppers. Um, my pepper plants are, are doing wonderful. So 
I'm gonna pick some of these. I got some habaneros. I don't think I want those. I think I'm just gonna stick with these. I think these are jalapenos. They might be uh, hot banana. I don't know. But yeah, let's pick some of these. And uh, these should do just fine. I'm gonna need, you want half of a pepper per breast. Yeah, I'll take uh, four peppers out of the garden. Let's go get this done. I'm hungry. All right, guys, first thing I'm going to do here is clean up these peppers. Now, make sure this is very important. Wash your hands as soon as you are done doing this because I'll tell you what, this will burn. Usually, I use jalapenos. I'm not quite sure what I got here. I don't remember what all I planted in the garden. I know I had a, a big old mix of peppers. I even planted some ghost peppers. I know these ain't ghost peppers. I really hope not, <laughs> but they smell good. But yeah, as you can see, you cut the ends off slice them down the middle this one's big enough I can get extra slices out of it actually I'll get in that I'll just cut it again um, I want to get the seeds out the seeds are where I mean the seeds some recipes I'd keep seeds in just for heat but that is where the majority of the really hot heat is you don't want that in this recipe. Yeah, these uh, these peppers are gonna go right in the middle of your duck breast. They give all kinds of good flavor. Hopefully Ruby don't eat any of those seeds off the floor that are falling down. I'll know if she does. <laughs> all right, next step, you take your duck breast and you're gonna wanna butterfly them. You wanna cut them right down the middle, but not all the way through. Just so you can stuff them. So you want to be able to fold them back shut so don't cut them all the way through just cut down the middle it don't matter exactly if it's perfect just as long as you can fit a pepper in there and some cream cheese i got a whole bunch more to do in the sink so i'm just going to get her done all right guys next because i like to keep it on a sweet kind of on the sweet side i'm going to use some of crooked ben's sweet molasses barbecue i think that's going to be a really good <clears throat> change up i usually use mccormick chicken seasoning that actually works very good too, but just generously sprinkle it all over the inside of your butterfly breast, just like that. All right, next I'm gonna slice some cream cheese here. And that's gonna get, doesn't really matter. You can pick the size chunks that you wanna throw in there. Personally, I love cream cheese. I'm gonna fill it, I'm gonna fill them right on up. You got a whole extra block anyway. Now these smaller ones, I'll be able to use like a half of one of these cuts because they are shorter. Because it is gonna, a lot of that's gonna just squirt out anyway while it's cooking. Let's get to the next step. Now, we put our peppers, our pepper halves. You could either put them under the cream cheese or on top, it really doesn't matter. That cream cheese though is gonna cook through the peppers. So it, it really calms down that flavor. So you're not gonna have, it ain't gonna be excessive heat. You could have a hot jalapeno pepper and it's really gonna calm it down. Yeah, like how these are folded because they, they actually grab the cream cheese, kind of cup it in. Before you wrap it in bacon, fold these suckers up real nice because you got one more step. Also, not a bad idea to start your stove up. I like to have mine on 350, 350 degrees. Um, I usually cook these for about 45 minutes. Don't worry if it doesn't fit right. I mean, as I've said before, I'm no professional chef. I don't care to be. I enjoy cooking, especially wild game, but I'm not finicky about looks. If I spent, life's too short. If I spent my whole time trying to look pretty, I wouldn't get things done all right now put some more of the sweet molasses barbecue seasoning by crooked bend we'll cover the outside of it as well that way it's got all kinds of flavor flip them over do the same because i tell you i'm all about flavor i don't like bland stuff i never have and crooked bend's doing a good job guys the seasonings that they made are delicious all right wrap them up all right now here i got the i like to use the country pepper bacon i don't know why i'm just a sucker for that again flavor <laughs> but uh what i do 
And I used to use toothpicks. You can use toothpicks if you want. It will help the bacon hold better. But again, I'm not a perfectionist at all. So I'm not using toothpicks today. I am just gonna wrap these puppies up. Um, if I have enough, I should have bought an extra pack, but if I have enough, I usually put two pieces of bacon per breast. Because I really want them nice and wrapped tight. Um, but it looks like I, I've only got the one pack today. That's okay though. It'll still be good. Only really need one slice on these smaller breasts anyway. I believe these are the, um, probably the wood duck. Maybe the teal or the buffalo head from today. Hard telling, I got so many ducks now. Yeah, and on these big pieces, I want to definitely have two two pieces of bacon. One is definitely not enough for for these guys. And like I said guys, I like to do, I've got the oven heating up right now. Um, I'm going to put this in there. 45 minutes on 350 degrees is perfect. Um, you don't want to overdo your game meat as it is. I've told you this many times. Always best to have it more on the rare side or medium rare. So 45 minutes is really good for that. Let's get this done. Okay guys, seems how I'm doing a wild game dinner here with the duck. Uh, I figured why not? I wanted something else to go with it. Um, even though I know I could easily get full on those ducks. But I'm just gonna, as always, throw some butter in my cast iron pan here. And what I have here is a hen of the woods. Um, this is only a little piece of it. I found a massive one the other day. You'll see the picture. Uh, this thing was just gigantic. I've got the rest of it in the fridge um, But this is a very delicious mushroom. I'm just gonna chop this baby up saute it and I'm gonna use Crooked Ben's garlic pepper salt just a little bit of that on there These are gonna be great. All right, there ain't no need to clean these things. These are a very clean mushroom You pretty much just cut off the the dirty part will be where you took it off the tree um, other than that it's it's pretty dang clean so I am just gonna chop it up just like a regular mushroom normally last time I ate them I left them in pretty big chunks but I'm just gonna chop them up small give me something little to eat on the side there yeah that's a uh, reason it gets its name head of the woods is because it's got basically what look like feathers the mushroom itself looks like a bunch of feathers and they grow really well along the side of hardwoods, um, especially oak trees. I find most of mine around oak. So, yep. This is a very, this was the biggest one I'd ever seen in my life. This thing was huge. But yeah, we're gonna fry this puppy up. It's hard to beat fresh wild mushrooms fried in butter. Ruby's freaking out. She must be hungry too. <laughs> All right, butter is nice and melted. I didn't see I had some grass growing through. You just never know with mushrooms. There was another piece. Oh well, fry it up. Add a little bit of salad. Another one. <laughs> this grass growing out of the mushroom. But yeah, I'm just gonna let these saute here. And like I said, guys, I'm gonna use this Crooked Bend garlic pepper salt. This stuff's good. I've been using this on a lot of different dishes. Some more grass growing, growing right through the mushroom. I didn't even see it. I don't mind eating grass. I've eaten worse, but I'd rather not. <laughs> All right, just get some of this salt and pepper, and garlic on there. It doesn't really need it. This is a very flavorful mushroom, but. Oh, why not? Never hurts to add some flavor. Let's just let these guys saute a bit, flip them around, and we'll be good to go. That duck's about ready. It's going to be coming out in about eight minutes. All right, let's pull these out of here. Oh yeah, that looks good. Looks good to get a nice brown. You don't want to overdo it. It might look overdone, but it's not. It's going to be nice and tender in the middle. Um, 45 minutes is, is really good time for that. The bacon is perfect. It's not too crisp. 
Um, these are going to be so good. And of course, my mushrooms should be. Oh yeah, they're pretty well done. Just letting them soak up some more of that butter. It is hard to beat a buttery mushroom. <laughs> uh, yeah, get these finished up. Now I'm gonna dump them on, dump a bunch of these on the plate with some of the duck, and we're gonna give this a shot, guys. All right, guys, I am super excited to try this out. I've had it many, many times. It is definitely one of my very favorite dishes, and that is the jalapeno cream cheese stuffed uh, duck breast. Now, I don't know if those were jalapeno peppers or not. It might have been something spicier. I'll find out. But I've also got a side here of Hen of the Woods that I picked the other day when I was out and about. Um, the Hen of the Woods is a delicious, delicious little mushroom. Well, I should say big mushroom. This thing is huge. It's got such an earthy, woodsy taste to it. Somebody asked me the other day what it tastes like. There's really no, no other mushroom or really anything to describe it like. It's got its own special flavor. Oh, let's get some of this duck. Oh yeah. Got some pepper. Got some bacon. Cream cheese. A bunch of duck. That turned out really, really good, guys. Yeah, I don't... I really don't know what type of pepper that is out of that garden, but it's actually really good. It's not hot at all. Uh, like I said earlier though, if you are using hot peppers, the cream cheese actually kind of weans it down and makes it not as strong, but no, this ain't hot at all. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to try and keep up with wild game cooking. Got a lot of stuff coming up. I'll even be cooking muskrat before long. Take care guys. Keep those lines tight. LT Outdoors has been brought to you by... RBM Jigs and Lake Effect Lure Co. Everything for the serious ice fisherman. Sportsman's Connection. Mapping the outdoors since 1992. Wellman's Bait and Tackle. Check them out in Oscoda, Michigan. Whittlemaker Lures. Quality tungsten jigs. Heavy Metal Custom Lures. Check them out for a great selection of plastics and more. Liquid Willow Cat. A great selection of natural made plastics. Cowboy Coffee Chew, a cup and a pinch. Crooked Bend, the leader for food plot mixes here in Michigan. LS Custom Game Calls, check them out for incredible game calls. They have waterfowl and much more. Better Boat, check them out at thebetterboat.com for quality boat cleaning products. And Shelly's Shirt Shack, where all the LT Outdoors merchandise is made. There's something you don't see every day.